The starting quarterback for the Miami Dolphins, his name is Tua Tung of Vailoa. And he's not only the starting quarterback for the Miami Dolphins, he's also the starting quarterback for my fantasy football team. But there's an amazing story that has recently come out. And that is, he's now in his third year. And to be honest, in his first two years, he was pretty bad. And it recently came out how he looked in the mirror and he asked himself, am I lousy? Am I bad? And he wasn't sure. He doubted himself because he saw the criticism from everywhere. And then his new head coach this year, Mike McDaniel, put together a 700-play highlight film with all of his amazing plays from college and beyond. How did this translate? Well, now he's currently fifth in the league in touchdowns. He's second in the league with fewest interceptions thrown. And he's second in the league in completion percentage. He's doing amazing. One of the best quarterbacks in the league. What happened there? So I think to understand what happened, I want to just briefly look at an idea from this week's Parsha. At the very beginning, we see the Torah tells us that Yaakov Avinu left from Beersheba and he went to Haran. And the question that's asked is, why does the Torah, which doesn't usually mince words, why does it say that he left Beersheba to go to Haran? It could have just said he went to Haran. I went to Vail recently, but I don't tell people I left Denver and I went to Vail. I just say, I shredded the nar in Vail. So what's going on over here? So Rashi beautifully and famously tells us that it's coming to teach us that when a tzaddik leaves an area, when a righteous person leaves an area, it makes an indelible impression. When he's in the city, there's a certain beauty and splendor there. And when he leaves, that's absent. And that's what's happening with Yaakov. And I've heard explained further that we might have thought that maybe his absence wouldn't have been so imminently felt. Why? Because at the end of the day, his holy father and mother remained in Beersheba. And yet, his absence was still eminently felt. I think the lesson for us as well is that all of us have that amazing ability that we might not be Yitzchak, we might not be Rivka, we might, you know, not, not be the most outgoing people in our communities, the most connected people in our communities, but each and every one of us leaves an amazing impression. Each and every one of us influences the community we live in and makes a big difference, and we can. And if, God forbid, we ever feel like we're not making any difference, that we're not making an imprint in the community, we have to know that we are. We are B'nai Yaakov, we're B'nai Yisrael, we're, we're the children of Yaakov Avinu. The same Yaakov who made such an imprint in his community and was felt when he left, that's the imprint in, in the community that we make as well, and that is our duty. I would conclude that it is also our duty and job to not only realize our own greatness within us and to live our lives that way, to make our own imprint in our communities and in our families, but we have to also bring that out in other people as well. We have to always be ready to remind them of their greatness and the impact that they make and how profoundly important they are in our communities. Just like Coach Mike McDaniels of the, floor, uh, of the Miami Dolphins uh, realized uh, to, to help his quarterback, we too can be Coach McDaniels and we can make that same impact for the people in our lives as well. Have a beautiful Shabbos.